Hi, it's uh, Griff Patch. I'm just making a small screencast here to uh, get some feedback really. Um, I've had some ideas for a new little game and I thought to myself it'd be really cool to perhaps um, create some YouTube videos of um, the work in progress so I can like um, keep you up to date on how I go about building a project. Um, not quite sure if it'll work, uh, whether you're interested or quite how deep to go, but uh, so here's a start. I mean, I can always do other ones. Um, so this is the idea I had. It's Chicken Run. I'm not sure I like the, the name Chicken Run. Perhaps Chicken Dash, Chick Dash. Who knows? Um, and yes, I know it's Easter's past. It just happens to be uh, a cute idea and I, I don't really mind. So what I do is I came up with this idea for a game where you have a, like a, a hen sitting on her eggs and off she goes with her little chicks only leaving one egg behind and that's going to be your character so you hatch without your mum around and you have to dash across the level to try and catch up with her so that's the premise of it and I thought that was quite a cool idea um, and in the, my thoughts I was kind of thinking of uh, games like Super Mario Dash or um, that kind of that kind of gameplay like a really simple dynamic um, where you get to uh, to run across a level and uh, avoid obstacles and it's all very smooth and fun. So to begin that journey I had to draw a little little chick guy um, as you can see here's how I started off starting off with a more realistic chick shape um, and this process is a bit iterative and then I started to change the idea to this guy here with a bit more retro um, and pixelated but I quite like the style of that um wasn't quite what I was looking for getting closer uh this is getting very close to how I've uh, ended up at the moment um and I started playing with colors of legs shape of body coloring things like that and in the end this is the guy I've come up with which I like the most notice how I faded out his uh, outline a little bit to make him fit in with his legs and it's quite nice um it's uh twice as uh pixely as it needs to be so you can scratch you can draw in between these pixels but to make it retro looking I've kept it to this grid size which I think is quite nice the animation for him I've put together here only five frames for his walk cycle his legs are bending backwards of course being a, a chick so if you look at this one here his leg goes out backwards and then forwards and uh, when they're fully stretched of course they're straight still as that was a bit of a challenge so you can see here oops, let me stop the project it's still running so they can see the different frames so he bobs up his legs turn around he comes down and then it goes back to the start now i don't know whether i'm gonna have to add more frames or not but that's the uh, that's the basic animation as i look if i play this you can see him if i run it through there we go I'll make it bigger for you there you are it's quite a smooth little running animation and of course, if you've ever seen a little chick, their legs go like the clappers. They don't go slow like that at all. So uh, let me speed that up so you can see what it looks like sped up. Uh, don't worry about these scripts for now. So if it's running at one frame a second, uh, not one second, one, 30 frames a second, it looks like this. So that's quite cute. Now I can also put in some uh, background sprites just to give you an idea of what it looks like. Okay. No, that didn't work very well, did it? Try that again. Ah, I know what's wrong. Da, 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 da. There we go. So here he is, running on a scrolling little background. Now that might not actually be fast enough um, what I've done in these scripts down here is allow me to change the speed of how fast he runs um, here it is you might notice he ran backwards faster than he ran forwards so now he goes like this so his legs are actually going um, faster than the frames that I've created so it's actually only showing two or three of the five frames as it cycles around I might make a different run cycle for him, depending on how I'm feeling and how the game pans out. I've also made him a little jump like that. 
and a double jump, which I might change the graphics to again, but I like the idea of it. You can only jump twice. You can't three jump or anything. Um, so that's the idea. Um, I could also switch in some slightly different graphics for the floor. There we go. So you can imagine what we might do with the graphics there. So that's quite cool, is it not? Um, you also see I'm cheating at the moment. If I walk off the edge, there's no actual collision detection with the floor at all. But that's the whole thing when you're starting to develop a game. You don't go jumping in and do everything. You just do bit by bit to get a feel of what, what's working, what isn't. So there's a lot more to do and a lot more scripting to do. I could back down from this and uh, run the YouTube video from an earlier point and show how I've made the script so far. For example, this nice scrolling here where I can face a direction and it scrolls so that I've got a lot of running space and I can see what's coming. That's quite cool and I can show how to do that. Um, how to do the animating frame rates. Um, at the moment he cycles slower if he's running slower and he gets faster and he goes faster and all the little bits and pieces in here and of course the jumping and double jumping so we'll see how this uh, series goes really uh, tell me what you think um, and uh, yeah see you on scratch